What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here, and welcome back to another LEGO DC Supervillains video! So in today's video, I'm of course going to be showing you guys how to make Jared Leto's version of the Joker from the Suicide Squad movie using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it! Alright, so to start off with, we're of course going to head into appearance, head, head, and then head again, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find custom head 64, and of course, we're going to make it white. Now, straight away, you probably realize that this is a female face. Well, don't worry, because by the end of it, it's going to look completely different. Now then, once you've done that, you're of course going to back out of there, go into face decal color, which is the color of the eyebrows, so we're going to make that white because we don't want any eyebrows, and we're going to do the same for the eyeshadow as well, but for the lip color, just go ahead and make it darker red and for the wrinkle decal color I would say go with this gray right here now then once we're done with the face pieces we're gonna of course move on into hair and we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom until we find the slick back hairstyle now personally this color right here I think is the perfect color for Jared Leto's Joker's hair I mean there's a lot of different greens here and depending on the images you look at from the film in different lighting the color of the hair can look a little bit different but I think this is probably the closest to it that we can get so I'm gonna stick with that one because I think it looks really really cool now then on to the body so we're gonna go for preset body and we're gonna scroll all the way to the top until we find Lobo's body and of course we're gonna make it purple now personally I think this is the best body to use to make Jared Leto's Joker the only thing I don't like is you can see it's got more of a punk kind of look and it says the main man on the back but aside from that it is near perfect however if you don't want to use this piece you could just go ahead and give him a shirtless look instead but personally I just think this looks so much better now then, for the arms, we're going to go to both arms, and you could, if you wanted to, go with the blank arms in purple, but personally, I really like using bronze tiger's arms and making them purple, because you can see there, the black lines there, they look like creases in the arms, which just make it look a little bit more detailed. For the hands, we're of course going to go ahead and make them white. For the hips, we're going to go ahead and make it this blue right here. And then for the legs, what you want to do is you want to make both blue. Then you're going to back out of there, go into left leg. And we're going to scroll down until we find, I think it's Dr. Poison. Yep, this one right here. And we're going to make it blue. Nice. All right, cool. So now, of course, what we're going to do is move on into the effects. So we don't want a left hand glow or a right hand glow, but for the hit impact effects, we'll turn that on, we'll go with style one, and I think we'll go with, how about this green right here? Yep, that looks good. And then for the jump slam effect, I think we'll do the same, we'll make sure it's style one like that. And then for the color, we'll go ahead and make it green. Nice, looking very, very cool indeed. Now of course we can move on into the abilities. So we don't need anything on the tag button, but for the jump button, we'll go to double tap X, go to double jump, we'll turn that on, and I think we'll just go with jump style one. Yep, that looks good. For hold X, I think we'll just leave that blank. For the square button, I didn't give him anything in here or in hold square, but for tap circle, what we'll do is we'll give him the explosive ability so he can throw pies, and I think we'll go with, I believe this is the default color they use. Yeah, it's either this one or this one, I'm not quite sure. I would say it's probably the lighter color, I think. Yeah, so we'll just stick with that one there. Nice. And then for hold circle, you want the drone accessibility, and we're going to go with type 1. So you can see there, it's got the iconic Joker chattering teeth, which is very, very cool. Nice. All right, now then, on to the skills. So the Joker does have a grapple hook in the actual game. So I think what we'll do is we will add that ability. We'll go with... Is it this one right here? Yep, we'll go with that. We'll make it dark gray like that. Nice. And then for the actual grapple gun, should we just make it a normal color or a cool Jokerish kind of color like pink or something? That's quite good, actually. I like the pink because that's a similar color to the way that his gun looks in the actual movie. So that's a nice reference to that. So yeah, we'll stick with that one. Technology, we'll leave that. We won't have acrobat, mind control, telekinesis, wall climbing, smash walls. We don't need any of these. We'll go with goon command. Yep, that makes sense. Graffiti. Yes. What color should we make this? Just green? Green looks good. What about purple? There's a lot of colors you could go with. I think I'll just stick with... I'll stick with that one. That looks good. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, illumination, we don't need that. And Hazard Protection, we'll have that as well. So just to recap, we got Hazard Protection, Graffiti, Goon Command, and of course, a Grapple Hook. Nice. All right, now then, on to the personality. So for the health icon, you could either go with purple, pink, or green. I think I'm going to keep it at green. For the health type, just choose standard health. For the voice, just choose any male voice. For the speed, go with normal. For the target reticle, this doesn't actually matter, so you can just leave it alone, because obviously we haven't given our Joker a gun or anything like that. But for the animation, 
animation set, you definitely want to choose the trickster animation set because you can see here, despite the fact that I chose a female face, it looks so much like the Joker with the smile and everything, which is really cool. The only thing I don't like about the trickster animation set is that for some reason, when you choose this, the white in your character's eyes completely disappears. I really hope this gets patched at some point because it's the only thing that is holding this design back because aside from that, it looks near perfect. So I'm very happy with this design because I think it looks really, really cool. So before we fill in the basic information, one more thing that you could add to your character is if we go into weapons, go into guns, and then go to gun type, if we go to, say for example, the pistol and make it this color right here, this is obviously a nice reference to the gun that Jared Leto has in the actual Suicide Squad movie. The only thing I don't like about this is you can see there, the smile is gone and it looks more like a female face when you have a gun, hence why I don't like to use it. If that wasn't there, I would absolutely keep the gun, but you can see there, that just looks so much better and less like a female character. So personally, I wouldn't recommend adding the gun, but if you want to, then the option is there. Now then, onto the basic information. So for the status, we're going to go with the villain. For the affiliation, is there anything in here we could maybe choose? Perhaps. Nah, we'll just leave that alone. And then for the name, we're of course going to call him the Joker. Nice. All right, cool. So now, of course, what we're going to do is drop the Joker into the hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made version of Jared Leto's Joker from the Suicide Squad movie made in LEGO DC Supervillains. Let's just get a good look at him right here. I'm really happy with the way this character turned out. I still don't like the main man logo on the back or the fact that it's got a very punk-like look to the torso. But, I mean, ever since Lobo was announced as a playable character, I knew that I just had to use that torso to make Jared Leto's Joker. So despite, you know, those parts of the design, I still think it turned out really good. So I'm happy. I also like the detail on the arms there for the creases and the white line on the leg is really cool there. But I think my favorite part of this design is the face. Because one thing that I swore by was basically to not use the classic Joker's face when making this version of the Joker. Because let's be honest, that's the classic version. Jared Leto, he has a much more unique look compared to all previous Jokers before him. Whether it be animated or live action. So I think using the female face that we did and getting rid of the eyebrows and everything like that with the trickster animation set with the smile I just think it brings it all together and just makes it look so much better even better because of course it doesn't have the female eyelashes like most of the female faces so yeah turned out pretty good so let's actually go fight some crime and see what this character can do so of course he can attack enemies like this with his joker weapons which are really really cool he can also leave a green crack in the ground like this and when he attacks enemies it gives off this green effect which is really nice. He can also of course throw pies which explode which I'll do in a second if we can find something to throw it at. Here we go. Here's some cars so you can do this. You can throw a bunch of them as well. Watch as they all explode. Watch this. Will it hit any of the cars? It did! Nice! Let's see what his uh, attacks are when he grabs someone. So we've grabbed someone like this, press circle, what happens? Okay cool and then if we do it again with this police officer and press X does that and then you can slam them down with a boxing glove that is very nice and if we press square he throws them so it's pretty cool all right take that and that and that yeah this looks awesome you can see you know the, the issue i had was the fact that there's no white in the eyes there but when you're attacking it does actually appear and it makes him look so much better i really hope they could patch that because it's the only thing missing from this design to be honest this is definitely the best version of jared leto's joker that i've been able to make so far i mean the good thing about that joker though is that he wore a lot of different outfits in the actual film. There was like a tuxedo, there was a cool suit, there was a shirtless look, so you could really go for lots of different looks in this game. And hopefully with the DLCs along the way, maybe we'll be able to make some of those other costumes. And if you guys would like them, I'll definitely consider making them, because this was a really fun Joker to get right. Because this was a character that I just thought, there's no way I'm going to be able to make that. And it's funny, the characters that you think you're probably not going to be able to make, if you just take the time to look at the customizer and look at all the, you know, uh, possibilities, you might actually be able to do it. I mean, this turned out way better than I even imagined. Before I even decided to do this video, the final version that I had in mind had the Joker face. And then I thought, no, that's not accurate enough. I need to try a different face. So I'm really glad that I didn't actually upload the video or, uh, you know, even record it when I had the uh, classic Joker face. Because this one just looks so much better. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks great. 
I don't think it looks as good when you have a gun, because then obviously there's no cool smile or anything. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but the gun is cool, because then you can have the one from the movie. But oh well. These are the kind of sacrifices you have to make with a customizer, because, you know, we've got a cool look, but he doesn't have the Joker's gun or anything like that. But I still think that the Trickster animation set really makes up for that, because it's got all the Joker-like weapons when he attacks melee attacks and everything like that, that easily makes up for it. And of course we can throw pies, explosive pies everywhere! There we go. So I'm sure most of you are probably wondering, am I going to be making the other versions of the Joker? So you know, Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix, and maybe even the animated versions as well. Well, I'm not going to say yes or no, but I'll definitely look into it. Basically, at the moment, I'm kind of waiting and seeing on the DLCs, because like I said in my Scarlet Witch video, we can't really make the best looking version of the MCU Scarlet Witch at the moment, because there's no jackets that we can make red that look enough like what Wanda wears in the actual film so I'm waiting and seeing on the DLCs to see if a piece gets added that allows us to make a much more accurate version of the character and the same applies to other versions of the Joker if we wait and see we might get like some cool looking suit pieces that allow us to make Heath Ledger and Jack Nicholson and stuff like that because the thing that I wanted to get right with this character is I wanted him to look completely different to the way that the classic Joker looks in the main game because that's the goal of this character is obviously it's a very different take on the Joker, and I wanted that to show in his design. So, wow, that was a big explosion. So if I was to make the other Jokers, I'd want them to look like that. I wouldn't want them to look like the classic Joker dressed up as Heath Ledger or something like that, because that just doesn't, you know, really stay true to that version of the character. So that's basically what I'm going to say on the other Jokers for now. But I'd love to make all of them, because this was a really fun character to make, definitely. Heath Ledger is probably my favorite version of the Joker all time. I just think he absolutely knocked out of the park. So I would really love to be able to make that version. But hopefully, you know, the DLCs will add some cool suits and stuff like that eventually. I mean, you've got to think, we haven't even had the DLC packs yet. We've got Aquaman, Shazam, Batman the Animated Series, what else? Young Justice. There's so many packs still to come that we haven't had yet. So there's going to be a ton of DLC pieces getting added to the customizer and I can hardly wait. I mean, I've been able to make a lot of cool stuff with this customizer already and there's still so much I haven't shown yet, but it just makes me get excited about what we might be able to make next when the next pieces are added. I just love that they're adding them. I, it's so great to see that they're adding more and more pieces. That was a cool move. If he blew up there, that would have been a nice combo. Throw the pies at the uh, security van, get the money, and he blows up in the process. That would have been really cool, but oh well. I kind of wish that there was some Suicide Squad content, like official content in this game, but oh well. Would have been nice to get a Lego version of the Joker's car. Because, you know, regardless of what you think of that movie, that car's pretty sweet. <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. I'm sure like, nearly everyone has made that car in, like, GTA Online or something. So, would have been cool to get a Lego version of that to drive around in in Gotham, but oh well. But anyway guys, I think that'll do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.